In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make a brand new TikTok page and get it to 100,000 followers very quickly, which can very easily start making you about five grand a month with a little bit of work. From what kind of niche to get into, what kind of posts to make, how to make them, how to make them entertaining enough to get picked up by the algorithm, the editing platforms that I personally use, and I'm even gonna give you a niche that I personally would get into right now if I was starting over. So make sure you watch out for that. So. Why should you do TikTok over something else? Now, the beauty of TikTok is that you really don't need any specific skills in order to start getting some traction with it. As long as you have a couple fundamentals that I'm gonna go over today, there's really no reason why you wouldn't blow up. And what I really love about TikTok is just how quickly you can start getting traction with it. I was able to get my first page to 50,000 followers within just one week of starting. And I had no prior experience with TikTok before. And within two weeks, I started making anywhere from 40 to $100 a day just from the creator fund. And that's why I think that TikTok is the perfect business to get started with if you're a beginner. Because unlike dropshipping, you don't need any money to start out with. Unlike something like SMMA, you don't really need any people skills to start out with. And you don't really need to be super knowledgeable on business or editing or anything like that. So let's get into it. First off, let's talk about the niche. Now, something that I think is really important when you're picking a niche to start off with is to pick something that gives you a lot of creative control over the things that you are posting. For example, if you just make like a meme page where you just take videos from the internet and just post them on TikTok, you're gonna end up having trouble when it comes to sponsors. The reason being is because you don't have any creative control over your page. So if a sponsor asks you to make a video for them describing their product or website or anything like that, you're not really gonna have any way to do that. And you'll be leaving a lot of money on the table, which again is why I recommend to get into something that gives you a lot more creative control. And right now, I'm gonna show you a niche that I personally would get into. However, I don't really think I have the mental capacity for another page right now, so... You're welcome. If you start making racks off this page, I expect at least 20%. So if we get into my handy dandy computer here, Okay, so this is a niche and let me explain why this is such a good niche to you. As you can see on this page, I really only got 300 followers. The reason for that is because I started popping off really quickly and then one of my posts got like 15k views and it was actually promoting a website that lets you watch movies for free. TikTok did not like that and they deleted the post and gave me a strike on my channel. And what I believe is because the channel is so new, right away they decided to shadow ban this account, which is honestly fine. It only had 300 followers and I could just restart, make, make a brand new page and then it would probably blow up. But again, I just don't kind of have the mental capacity for that. So I'm giving this to you. Enjoy. Anyway, I'm going to show you one of these videos and explain why I made the videos this way. Exposing secret websites you need to know about part one. If you ever need to write an essay for school, go to this website. Find any Wikipedia article that you want to use. Copy the paragraph that you want. I just chose this one and then paste it into the left side. Click paraphrase. And now that entire paragraph was reworded so it can be used in your essay. Exposing secret all right, so super simple. It doesn't have my face attached to it. If you want to show your face, you can, you don't have to. But right away, this first post got 761 likes. If you notice in the beginning, I just kind of say exposing secret websites. This is just to make people feel like they're about to see something that they should not know about. This was also kind of a trend, so make sure you utilize trends. And then literally all I did was just find different websites that I like, record my computer, show how it works, and then I'd show off the website. Something that you should also notice is that I talked pretty fast paced. Again, people on TikTok don't really have a big attention span, so make sure you do that. Something I would personally add on to this would just be adding something like subtitles. Again, just so people don't lose their attention span. And if you're looking at this and thinking, hey, this is only really 300 followers, how, how are you so sure that this would work? It's because I've seen other accounts do it. If I search up secret websites you need to know about, you'll see something like this page. Now again, it's the exact same formula, exposing secret websites part 89 if you go on this website you can download royalty free 4k the beginning is just something to catch attention he added some subtitles which i like and then right away he gets into the website and he explains why it's such a good website and he's getting really good views if we scroll down we see that he's getting 50k 70k 100k here 400k here and in the beginning it was even more it was 11 million 3 million 3.6 million. But not only that, here's the reason why a page like this would be so powerful. If you see over here, he's promoting this website where he's offering to build you a Shopify store and he's charging $300 and $400. Now I've never had any success with drop shipping, so I'm not going to act like I did. And I've never shilled out for a course, but I'm just saying he got 6.4 million likes. And some of his posts are literally just ads for his website. As you can see here, exposing secret websites, part your first sale where he just literally says you go onto this website and get your first sale on Shopify. If we say 5,000 people went on that website, which I think is pretty reasonable given that he's getting, given that he's gotten 6.4 million likes, 
and we pull up the handy dandy calculator and we say he gets a 1% conversion rate. That's 50 people that bought. That times 300, we're gonna take the lower one. He's made $15,000. And that's a pretty good strategy in and of itself. But personally, I'm not really sure how I feel about courses right now. So I would recommend going another way and finding sponsors that would actually pay you to promote their website. Because this is a page that literally just promotes websites and people are expecting that when they see your page, people are going to listen to what you have to say. So you can charge your sponsors a premium. So I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to charge your website a thousand or two thousand dollars just for one post. And that's being conservative. I know some tech and finance pages are charging five to ten thousand dollars for one post. So again, I don't see any reason why a page like this wouldn't be able to get you five thousand dollars a month. And just for some context, I run two different pages on TikTok, both with about three hundred thousand followers. On one of them, I talk about finance and I actually show my face. On that page, Page, I was able to get a sponsor for over $2,000 and on my other faceless niche account I currently have two different sponsors that are in total paying me about $3,000 a month so if you've been thinking about making a page, this is definitely something I would recommend. And if this video somehow gets a lot of views and all of a sudden there's a bunch of different pages that are doing this, then I'm gonna reiterate the point that you need to stand out. Do something different, anything different. Just stand out at least a little and you should be golden. And like I've already mentioned a hundred different times, people on TikTok have a short attention span. So make it entertaining, add subtitles, add something in the background, add anything that makes them like the video a little more than they did the last guy. And if you're wondering about what editing software I personally use, I really like Camtasia. It's very simple, very, bare bones. It doesn't have nearly as many features as something like Adobe Pro, but it's just super convenient to use. And if you can't afford that or you can't get it, then just, then just look up some free editing softwares on Google. You should be able to find a couple. One that I've used before is DaVinci Resolve. It's a little harder to use than other platforms, but it does give you a lot more features. And yeah, that's how I would recommend starting a brand new page. I might just end up making a page exactly like what I described to you today and just show you how easy it is to get some traction on TikTok. So if you're interested, let me know. And if you're wondering about how much TikTok pays you for something like the Creator Fund, which we didn't touch much on, I made a video, so make sure you check it out. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye. Why have you not subscribed yet? You better hit subscribe before I...